New details on the House Ethics Committee's investigation into former Florida Congressman Matt Gates. Uh, he is President-elect Donald Trump's pick to be the next Attorney General. Cristian Benavides has the latest on Gates plus Trump's border plan. House Republican lawmakers are standing by former Florida Congressman Matt Gates as he pursues the attorney general job and new details emerge from an ethics committee investigation. I think it's a good decision. I think that's why the sewer is raising so much cane about it because in both parties because they know he's going to he's going to cut it out a lot of nonsense. There were no cell phones allowed. Attorney Joel Leppard tells CBS News's Major Garrett that two of his clients told the House panel they were paid to have sex with Gates at a party party in Orlando, Florida in 2017. She arrived at the party. She had sex with Representative Gates um, within minutes of her arrival. Later on, uh, when she was walking out to the pool area, she observed to her right Representative Gates having sex with her friend who was 17 at the time. A Department of Justice investigation into the allegations ended with no charges being filed. Gates has denied any wrongdoing. A spokesman for President-elect Trump's transition team called Leopard's claims, quote, baseless allegations intended to derail the second Trump administration. We are also learning more about Trump's plans to carry out, in his words, the largest deportation program in history. Trump's incoming border czar, former acting ICE director Tom Holman, outlined three steps the new administration plans to take, securing the border, finalizing deportations, and accounting for unaccompanied children. We're going to focus on public safety threats and national security threats first, and fugitives, those who cross the border legally. Last night, Trump announced former congressman and TV host Sean Duffy to lead the Department of Transportation. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, West Palm Beach.